All right, man. Sketchpad Podcast. We back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. So we're going to talk about, we're going to talk about Marvel, DC, where they go from here, all that good stuff. And I'm going to give my thoughts. That's going to give his thoughts. And we're going to do that. So we back. Hey, man, if you want us to react to your stuff, links in the screen, all that good stuff. Cash at PayPal in the description, also on the screen, too. So, look, man, we just going to jump right into it. So, there's a couple of different things I've seen that DC, this is the reason why DC will never, ever, ever overtake Marvel. Ever. Because they don't know how to keep things going. Every time you turn around, they're creating a new Batman, a new Superman. They don't know how to keep things going. They confuse the fan base. Most people don't even know who the new Superman is. They think it's still Henry Cavill, and it's not. You know what I'm saying? They, that's what they literally think it's still Henry Cavill, and it's not. Talking to this guy today and he was telling me, and he's like, I said, nah, they ain't Harry Cavill ain't suing me. He said, really? He said, why would they get rid of him? I don't know. So I'm hearing now that Marvel is bringing back Ultron and Thanos. Now, and here's the thing about people got to understand about movies, right? Because people say, well, how is it that they're bringing these people back? Because comic books are comic books and they have different stories in comic books. They're starting a new chapter. It's a new story, a new storyline. It's not the same storyline. This sto- mm-hmm. that storyline ended. <laughs> it was, it was called Endgame. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It ended. This is a start over. So now there's something different. You know what I'm saying? That's what it is. You got Doctor Doom. It's coming. Then you got uh, um, they're they're bringing in the X Men now. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Blade is back. You know what I'm saying? This is what people got to understand. They're recreating everything again. And they're going to, this is like comic book movies 2.0. They're redoing everything and they're bringing it back to form where it's going to be big, probably even bigger than the last time because I can't remember a movie making a billion dollars last. And this one just did. Deadpool and Wolverine just made a billion dollars. Yeah. So you can't tell me that it's not in demand if it's making a billion dollars. All the stuff we talked about, we said, oh, comic book movies are dead. Nobody wants to see comic book movies no more. Why would they want to go back? Oh, it's this and that. Look, and I understand why people said that because the last couple of comic book movies were garbage from mm-hmm. DC and Marvel. They, they were garbage. But again, the major problem that I have with DC is they don't know how to stick to anything. You should have never got rid of Zack Snyder. I don't understand why you got rid of Zack Snyder. That was the dumbest thing ever. He had a whole plan. The whole plan. You should have let him finish his story, then did whatever after that. Mm-hmm. Zack Snyder's Justice League, to me, greatest comic book movie ever made. To me. You know, I know a lot of people disagree, but to me, it is. Uh, people say Endgame and Infinity War. I don't think so. That's just me. I like Zack Snyder's Justice League better. You know what I'm saying? I like it better because it's serious. It's not... Jokey, jokey, play, play time. But Marvel is making the better steps than DC because DC can't, they just can't get their footing right because they got idiots running the company. They're running the company into the ground. They got idiots literally running the company. Marvel, even though Marvel, some of their last movies were garbage, they say, you know what? We'll just bring all the old people back. And we bring them back. You know what's going to happen when we bring them back? 
Everybody going to come back. And what happened? They brought Ryan Reynolds back. Deadpool brought, uh, brought uh, uh, Hugh Jackman back. What happened? Everybody came back. <laughs> but what is DC doing? <laughs> Creating a whole new Superman. <laughs> so now when it comes out, people going to be like, well, who's this guy? Oh, that's Superman. Oh, he looks good as Superman. That's cool. Then guess what? When they want to go back, who are they going to ask to come back? The old people. Ben Affleck. You know what I'm saying? All these people coming back. And me personally, I don't think that DC is going to survive after this because Warner Brothers is, they're really struggling right now. I mean, compared to us, they're not, but compared to movies, they're struggling. They haven't dropped anything. Yeah. And, and, and what's the thing is about to come out? The Joker, but that's, that's a different, even though it's DC, it's a different, it's an Elseworlds story. It's not like, it's not like the core DC movie. So. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> See, all right. So a few, few things I want to say about this, because like, uh, there's a lot of things to really tackle here. So, all right, let me tell you, all right. So before I get into where DC's losing at, let me tell you where DC's winning at. DC's winning in the animation department. A lot of their cartoons are super fire. I'm talking about all the uh, animes, because they got some animes in there that they're using Japanese anime, um, anime-like uh, artwork. Um, all Flashpoint, from Flashpoint all the way to uh, to the end, was fire the with the detailing and everything as far as the animations were off the chain uh the joint they did the crossover with the ninja turtles and batman that was fire um there's so many other cartoons i can mention that dc had their hands in as far as com bringing the comics to life was dope um one of the comic books i really wish they bring to life is uh the predator versus batman i think dc could do that and that joint would be crazy if they brought it to an animation mm -hmm. i think that would be fire because the predator versus batman was an incredible series i actually got the comic book in the wrapper read it like twice and i put it back and have not touched it since so it looks fresh but um but yeah, you know, they're winning in that department. So I don't have a problem with them in that. The problems I have with them is their movies, their live action movies. They're just like, you know, they're not what they used to be. Firing Zack Snyder was definitely a bad idea. Uh, getting rid of Henry Cavill was a bad idea because now you're probably never going to get him back because now he's going to be the new Wolverine. Basically, that's what's going to happen. So, like, I don't understand, like, why they would want to, you know, re restart everything when they had guys that were set in those roles. You know what I mean? It didn't matter how old they got because, like, you could always CGI a lot of the stuff and people won't even tell the difference. Like... Hugh Jackman, I mean, he's old, but look at look at how I, I mean, well, I think most of his his struck body structure as far as him being in shape was him. But I'm just saying, like, Hugh Jackman did incredible as Wolverine. You know what I mean? It's gonna be hard for me to see him not be Wolverine anymore. But from the pictures that I've seen of Henry Cavill as Wolverine, the transition's gonna be smooth. You understand? Um all of these things, you know, that's going on, like, as far as Marvel, they're taking the right steps to building and getting their fans that once left back. DC, I don't know what they're doing. You know what I mean? Um, they got, they got like 12,000 different Batmans. You know what I mean? They could have just stuck with one. Ben Affleck was a great Batman. I don't know why you decide that Ben Affleck's not Batman no more. You know what I mean? 
And then you you go and get uh oh, I forgot the dude's name, but that that Batman movie's not even a part of the DC universe. I don't the uh just like the Joker movie, like I forgot I forgot the actor's name, the one that's playing Batman now. Um I forgot his name. But not to really rig on that movie because that movie was pretty good but it's not connecting to anything as far as the dc universe yeah all the characters on there are different even though they're characters that we're familiar with they're different they had bane on there it's not gonna look the same they had the riddler on there the riddler the way the riddler was dressed i didn't even know that was the riddler i thought that was bane at first when i first watched the movie i thought it was i said is that bane why is he so small Come to find out, he's the Riddler. He's the Riddler. You know what I'm saying? The whole costume was different. I don't know why they changed the costume. They should have kept it the same because it would have made sense. This Riddler costume, I'm like, looks like Bane. And, but and, and, and another thing too, which which what I found hilarious is the Joker. I like the Joker movie. I think it's classic. But there no Batman in it. How the yeah, fuck you that, got a that's Joker another, yeah. movie with no Batman. Who thought of that? How you have a whole Joker movie? There's a Joker movie where he's doing crazy stuff, and there's no Batman. Yeah, no Batman. And and and, and not for nothing, I could understand him not being in the movie the first one. But the second one, you're introducing Harley Quinn and you never introduced a Batman. That didn't make any sense to me because he ran into Batman before he ran into Harley. He didn't run into Harley before he ran into Batman. So I see how they I want to see how they're gonna explain that. How you gonna explain that the Joker? So who's stopping him? Who's who's gonna be the guy to stop him? You know what I'm saying? Seems who's like gonna he ain't gonna get stopped at all. <laughs> it seems like he's just gonna like, run through the whole like, entire movie. Like, uh, <laughs> I just don't, this is what I mean. Like they make these stupid decisions. It's like, okay, if you're gonna make a Joker movie, at least make Batman and write the write the movie where is that Batman is the villain, not the real villain. But you're talking from the Joker's perspective and get people to mm -hmm. like the Joker and mm -hmm. him doing these crazy things. And you can understand why he's crazy versus Batman, who's extreme. He could Batman could be the good guy, but the audience will side with the Joker. That to me, you sh that's what you should have did. You're making a fucking musical. You got them singing. I, nobody cares about that. Nobody wants to see that. Nobody. Yeah, wants I seen to that. that. I seen that, and I was like, "Huh? I was like, what? What are we doing here?" I was like, "Man, come on now! Don't tell me they trying to uh, turn Batman to a, a, a Disney show, Disney show on ice." Like, come like, on, man! Fuck, yeah. man. Like, what are we doing here? The the Joker movie's gonna be good because the guy who did it, he's good. He's a good director. You know what I'm saying? He's really good. Todd Phillips is really good. It's just, it's just corny that you guys are trying to take these comic book movies to somewhere where they don't belong. That's yeah. all I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? You could, it could be a great movie over there, but it could still be corny. You know what I'm saying? It's like, okay, it was a good movie, but as a comic book movie, it's corny. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's corny. Nobody wants to hear. Nobody wants to hear a uh, 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 Jaqua Phoenix sing and Lady Gaga sing. I don't care about that. They didn't do that in the comic books. No, stick to the store. The source material. Stick to the source material. Why do we gotta keep making these stuff that nobody wants to see? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You talking about pulling in new fans? Cool, but ain't no fans more than the comic book fans themselves. If you say, you know what, this, I could almost guarantee you, I did not see Deadpool and Wolverine. I could almost guarantee you it was full with fanfare. And that's the reason why all the fans came back. I can guarantee it. I bet you. I didn't see none of the movie. I can guarantee you 
that is filled with fanfare. I know it is. Just let me tell you. I know it is. Let me tell. Let me tell you. It was. It. Look, I know you didn't see it, so I ain't gonna tell you nothing about the movie. But I'm gonna tell you this, man. The theater was packed. Like you would have thought you was in the movie yourself when everything started coming to fruition as far as the features and who was it look man you could it would have been like you let a gunshot off how people were screaming and like oh my god and this and that like it was wild bro these, these people are so they're so tone deaf they don't even understand how to how they it's like it's like they don't want to make no money it's like they it's like okay we not going to give the fans with this is DC or Warner Brothers we ain't going to get the fans what they want we we do what we want to do that's how they look at it marvel uh, uh disney and marvel is like let's get the fans all like what they want just give them everything they want they they'll 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 keep coming back let's do this oh wolverine oh let's 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 put something in there that you know is directly from the comic book Let's do this. They, they, they do did that. that. They Let's do this. Let's do Marvel this. did exactly that in that Deadpool joint. They That's definitely fan, did right? that. It's all fan service, fanfare. For some reason, DC or, or Warner Brothers, the fans have made them feel like they can't. The, the, the anti Snyder fans made them feel like they can't do any fan service movies anymore. It has to be something that is totally against what Zack Snyder says because. The Zack Snyder people who hate Zack Snyder, they run DC. They run, they run DC, uh, 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 the DC fandom. You know what I'm saying? Over there. Even though Zack Snyder movies are the ones that stand out the most and the ones that made the most money and the ones that are um, st built the story. Because every character, every character from Jason Momoa, Aquaman, a Galaga Dose, Wonder Woman, every one of them down the line. Who's that? Hold on, bro. Mm -hmm. But yeah, they 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 have this whole anti Snyder thing. And they just totally go against Zack Snyder. Anything, they're still Zack Snyder haven't made a movie for DC since 2017, and they're still talking about him in all the groups, mm -hmm. all the groups that I'm in. I had to leave some of them because all they talk about is Zack Snyder slander. Oh, the Snyderverse will never be continued. Oh, we can't. Oh, I'm so happy the Snyderverse is dead. It's like, bro, that was well, that was your money. What you mean? <laughs> He was the yeah, one. Snyderverse was the best thing. Was the Snyderverse best thing was the best thing that happened to him. What are you talking yeah. about? What do you mean that, that you're happy that it's dead? Then that means DC is dead. After mm -hmm. that, none of the movies made money. All of them was yep. trash after that. And they try to use his character still. That's why when James Gunn came, he wanted to reboot the whole thing. Because he knew that he couldn't bring Zach. He could have brought Zack Snyder back, but Zack Snyder is better than him. He knows Zack is better than him. Maybe, maybe James might be a little better writer than Zack Snyder, but Zack Snyder is a better filmmaker than James Gunn. A hundred percent. One million percent better than James Gunn as a filmmaker. And everybody knows this. He has his mm -hmm. own look. People can say, oh, it looks like this. It doesn't matter. He has his own style, his own look. And and it's beautiful. You know what I'm saying? D this Nick James Gunn comes along and gets rid of everybody. Oh, I'm gonna start over and I'm gonna do my own DC version of DC. And I'm telling you now, it could be the most subpar to not good movie. And just because they hate Zack Snyder so much, they're gonna say it's the greatest thing since pants with pockets. I'm telling you right now. They're going to be like, yo, this is the best thing ever because they hate Zack Snyder so much. 
So they're just going to force themselves to say it's good. They try to do that with The Flash. I was going, I went to see The Flash. I walked out on the movie. So this is trash. So I can get, I'm getting out of here. I left. This is corny. I said, this is corny. This is corny. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I love DC. I like DC more than Marvel. But let's be clear here. The movies was corny. That was corny. I said, I'm not watching this. This is trash. Like, what is this? He running around creating whirlwinds and him and the other Flash running and hitting boots together. Ah, I'm out of here, bro. You bringing back uh, Michael Keaton, Batman. Michael Keaton is 70-something years old. What are you, why are you bringing him back as Batman? For what? He's 70-something years old, bro. What are we doing here? I had to get up out of there, bro. <laughs> like, nah. That's what I'm saying. That's why they lose when it comes to Marvel. Because they always do this. Always. Should have stuck with Zack Snyder. Period. Should have never got rid of him. Should have stuck with him. Let him finish his story. He did. Zack Snyder did Man of Steel. He did the first Wonder Woman. He, he didn't do the whole thing, but he mo wrote most of it. The first Wonder Woman. He did um, Zack Snyder's Justice League. And then um, he did Watchmen. But that had nothing to do with DC, but he did Watchmen. You know what I'm saying? So all of that. And then everybody he picked, all the whole cast, he picked all those people. All of them people. And what James Gunn do, he got rid of all of them except one. And that's, that's the, uh, Wonder Woman. <laughs> like, what are we doing here, bro? Like, I don't know, man. That's just my thoughts. I don't know. But. Nah, man. You right. You're right, man. Uh, hey, man, they just going to have to learn the hard way. That's just the way it is that uh, I don't see them. I don't see them changing the formula. They just going to have to keep losing money before they uh, come to their senses. Um, I did hear, even though I don't know if DC going to have anything to do with it, I did hear they're coming out with a last Ronin or Ninja Turtles movie. That's Warner Brothers, not DC. So, okay, yeah. Any anything, anything Warner Brothers. Warner Brothers is the gift and the curse. Like some of the movies is good, some of the movies ass. It's like Disney, same thing. Warner Brothers just want to do the opposite of Disney. But I, um, I can almost guarantee you they both gonna get bought up. The well, Warner Brothers, or the, Warner Brothers is already already brought up. Disney is gonna get brought up. The reason why they they're trying to save face because Apple was trying to buy them, and now. They making money off this guy, Ryan Reynolds. You know what I'm saying? Because Ryan Reynolds is he's he owns the rights to Deadpool. I don't know a lot of people don't know that. Just like just like uh what's the name owned rights to Blade, the original Blade, right? I don't know if uh Wesley Snipes owns the original the rights to Blade. I'm not sure about that. I have to read it. Yeah, I did I heard something like that. I heard something like that. I, I mean I don't know if he does because they try to do another blade with the other guy. And the other guy didn't like the storyline. You know what I'm saying? Because Wesley. Oh, got... so that's why that's why they keep saying that they bring Wesley Snipes back as Blade. Yeah, okay, I, 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 now play, play Blade. Because the thing was, it was going to be two Blades. It was going to be him, the guy. I can't remember his name. Marshawn, Marshawn, whatever his name is. Marshawn, yeah, Marshawn. Yeah. He 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 was going to be. He was gonna be young, a younger blade, and Wesley Snipes was gonna be the older blade. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? He was gonna come and teach him. You know what I mean? But I'll be honest with you, they don't want two black men in a movie like that. Two two black stars in a movie, you never seen that. You know what I'm saying? You you ain't unless they doing some thug shit. You ain't never seen two black stars in a movie. And two, in in a in a in a white company. No no no, we ain't not doing that. Let's be clear here. Like, no. So that's what I think. I think that that's what happened. He he walked away from the movie because he said that the storyline kept changing and it kept changing and changing. Now, with Ryan Reynolds coming in, he wants them to do another Blade movie, but he I believe he wants to do something with it. He want to make Blade 4. He's saying, y'all need to make that movie right now. 
Like, forget anything else. You need to make Blade 4 right now. You know what I'm saying? Because, it, it, but a lot of these companies, they don't do what the fans want. They do what the where the money goes, what the stock is telling them. Like, oh, well, Wesley Snipes come back. If the stock goes up a little bit, then they'll think about it. If the stock drop a little bit, no, 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 we can't do anything. That's how they, that's how they operate. That's how they operate. Whatever's, whatever stock is, whoever put money in behind the company, that's what the way they move, bro. So I don't know, man. But yeah. But yeah, man, I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna get out of here. Got some things I gotta take care of. S out. You know, out. Hey man, y'all have a good day.